Hey everybody, it's Roleplay. I hope everyone's had a good week, and I hope everyone's had a good Thanksgiving too. So, my week has been alright. Let's see, uh, come Wednesday, I took half a day off. I took the half day off because uh, Thanksgiving was the, uh, the next day, then Thursday, Thanksgiving Thursday. That was uh, pretty fun for me. Got to uh, got to go see my cousins. I have a lot of cousins around where I live, and we all had Thanksgiving together. Ate a lot of good food and basically had a good time with them. So the thing about that about them right now is that many of the cousins that I hung out with, like all of them, are maybe half a generation older than me. So when I got to see them, they all had, I th yeah, like every one of them had kids. They all had at least like one or two kids, with the oldest currently being about five years old. So we got to see the little tykes running about, and unfortunately or unfortunately, give or take, they were mostly more focused on like oh parent stuff and like what their plans are for the future and with their kids over like the traditional stuff that you expect from like uh, I guess people my age, but like a better term. Anyway, it was still good to see them. I still hung out, still glad to hang out with them and see how they're all doing. They were all definitely pretty busy, and they're all kind of tired, but I could I, I, I shouldn't expect no less, especially because they had kids. Anyway, beyond that, had a lot of good Thanksgiving food. Uh, my brother prepared some pies, which were pretty nice, and I tried to make cornbread. While there, we also had like stuffing, chicken, turkey, ham, and just a whole lot of good food there. So, ate a ton, had fun, and that was my Thanksgiving day. Unfortunately, not that my parents could attend. My uncles and some of my uncles and aunts were there. Were definitely there, and they were there uh, just as like the older generation. Unfortunately, my mom and dad couldn't attend, and part of that was because they were actually both a little under the weather that day, so so they wouldn't spread the illness or make others sick. Um, they decided to bow out. But my brother and I came back afterward, and we gave them we brought back some leftovers to them, which they were uh, appreciative of. Friday, another cousin, a cousin who was a, who was out of state, he came and visited me, and we hung out and had a pretty solid time. So, besides uh, getting pho for lunch, which was really nice, um, I absolutely enjoyed the pho, and I'm very thankful. The other thing I was super appreciative of, and I didn't expect, was he got me uh, Link's Awakening for the Switch as a late birthday present. And I was absolutely surprised by that. Like, I, I knew that we were talking about it sometime, and I kind of, I'll admit, I was a little dismissive about it. Like, I, I don't mean to, I'm not hating on Nintendo, but I was a little wary because of the price tag. So when he ended up getting it for me and just presented it to me as a birthday present, like, hey, uh, here's a late birthday present roleplay, I was just like, dude, you... Oh my goodness, you did not have to go out of your way for this, but thank you. So, now, when I get a Switch capture card, I got another Switch game I can play. I will say that I have been playing, I have played maybe up to the first dungeon of this game specifically, and real quick on this tangent, there was something that was kind of interesting. So, I remember when, I, when this game first came out, one of my friends had already gotten it. And I brought up the price tag as a sticking point because for a game that was essentially a remake, I didn't want to pay 60 bucks for it. Excuse me. Uh, hold on. And what he told me was, you know, I'm kind of I have my reservations about it too, but I felt that you I felt that you know, show, doing this would show my support for the game. So and the company, so I was like, okay, that's fair enough. While I was playing, and while I was playing this game today with my cousin and my brother, one of the comments that I heard coming from my cousin was like, this actually looks like a completely new game to me. And thinking about it, like, I can kind of understand that. Like, I'm a little more, I guess I'm a, I feel a little better about the whole $60 price tag. I'll admit, if I could, I still try to get it for a discount if I could. But you know what? Okay, sure. That aside, I played for about the up until about the first dungeon, and Link's Awakening for the Switch plays just about as well as I remember. So this will be a game I look forward to uh, streaming again on from the Switch once I get a capture card. So everybody be on the lookout for that. 
Beyond that, uh, Saturday was, today was uh, pretty quiet, kind of relaxing. I'm a little worried about Sunday because it's going to be rainy and dreary. But all in all, um, it was kind of a nice relaxing weekend. Also got to do a fair amount of Unity work, which I'm kind of happy about. And I'm definitely uh, having fun with the system, with the uh, game engine again. With that aside, hey everybody, my name is Roleplay. Welcome to the stream. I am a chill variety streamer. And as always, everyone, welcome. Please come in. Please make yourselves comfortable. And we'll get started very shortly. I'll say we'll start in about 5-10 minutes. So tonight's plan is we're actually going to revisit a game that I dropped off about, uh, I think, fairly early into this year. It's uh, It was a game called Chasm. I'll admit, I got kind of, uh, I unfortunately got kind of bored with it. Like, it, it wasn't really gripping me as other Metrovanias were, so I decided to just uh, drop it and move on. But I'm willing to give this another chance, and I I kind of want to like play through some more. So we'll spend the night playing through it, and we'll spend the night playing through some more of it. See where we can go. I'll admit I don't quite know where I'm gonna go with this. I feel like I need to revisit some places and remember what I had and what I didn't have, and figure out what to do. But uh, we should be fine. So it, there might be some aimless exploring at first, but we'll see. Until then, overall, I feel like my week, uh, the last few days has been pretty nice. I'm kind of hoping that, I'm kind of wondering if I'm gonna, if my cousin can hang out tomorrow as well, but the problem is that we noticed that the um, weather's gonna be kind of dreary and kind of cold and dreary, so like originally we were hoping we can like maybe do some hiking or something, but if the weather's like dreary then uh, it's, uh, I feel like it could be more harm than good if we try to go try to do that. That said though, I, that said though, I'll see what happens tomorrow. I, I'm, I'll see what happens tomorrow. It, it kind of sucks that tomorrow's uh, rainy and dreary. I, that's the kind of weather I hate most, honestly. Like, it's not cold enough to, for rain to turn into snow, but it's cold enough to make the rain just feel so much worse. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Like the weather where it's cold, it's chilly, and you feel the rain coming down, but that it feels like and the wind comes in, making it even worse. It's like rain spattering against you, soaking into your soaking through the coat. And it's chilly. And you just want to go inside as soon as you can. It's the worst kind of weather to me. Absolutely the worst, in my opinion. That's it, I'll see how the uh, weekend ends for I'll see how the weekend ends for me. I'm fine either way. Um, I also don't have any plans for tomorrow. Like, I'm mostly just gonna like relax and either maybe do Unity or look at some writing that I kind of left on the wayside, but we'll see. <laughs> Alternatively, a part of me is thinking, you know, maybe I can use the time to take catch up on work. Or if, or if my cousin comes to hang out, um, I'm absolutely down for just like hanging out for the rest of the day for a little while. I am absolutely down for that. Like, maybe we we'll go shopping to get maybe go shopping together real quick or check out some eatery or just it's just great to just hang out with my cousin for a little while. Anyway, until then, everybody, uh, we'll get started in about I'll say we'll get started in about six minutes. And until then, everyone, I hope you all had a thanks great Thanksgiving too. So, for those who don't know, most of my family is situated pretty close to me. Like, we all established our roots within the same area. There are some who have gone out of state, yes, but for the most part, I feel like most of them are, most of us are situated around the same area. So, it's, we kind of get to see each other uh, once or twice a year, and it's not too difficult to make the trips. Also, for those who don't know, yes, I have a ton of cousins. I have various, various cousins. Some are out of state, some are in state, and honestly, I think, mo yeah, most of them. Most of them are like half a generation older than me. They're pretty good, great. They're pretty good, great. Yeah, excuse me. Wow. They're pretty cool guys, though. Pretty cool guys and girls.
In fact, uh, I might go to another outing. I might go to an outing of theirs um, near the end of next month, but we'll see on that. Uh, until then, let's see. Oh, as I mentioned, um, since today is November 30th, uh, NaNoWriMo is a bus for me, as I said. Uh, I stopped at about 10 to 11K. Maybe 12K. And, I don't know, the writing fuel kind of just sputtered out for me. On the bright side, it seems to have transitioned into Unity development fuel, so I've been having a lot of fun with that. I've also been working on a character controller and just trying to hammer down what a 2D action platformer character should feel like. I've got a bunch of basic functionality for the character, but I do know there's still a lot of work ahead. Even just for the uh, basic character controller, I'm just trying to get it to a decent working state. Then I know I might need to think about, oh, uh, what enemies do I have? or what kind of uh, power-ups and pickups do I want, what interfaces for like menus, and of course, what kind of levels. So I feel like there's gonna be a bunch of things that need to be la um, worked out if I wanna go further with this. I'm mostly just having fun with the character controllers, and that's about the most I ever really thought about it. However, now when I think about it, I'm just only thinking to myself, oh, I need a master controller to control all aspects of the game or keep track of it. I need a level controller so that the level so that it knows which level to load and unload. I need menus for my character. I need menus for the player. I need enemies and differing AI. At the very least, I need to upgrade my test dummy type of enemy object. So there's a lot of things that are just suddenly coming to coming to here and they're just making me think, oh man, this is gonna be a lot more work than I thought it was. That said, not that I'm having fun with it. And of course, this is not even going into presentation. I haven't even th thought about visuals or audio. But to be fair, visuals and audios, uh, visual and audio, I haven't really thought too extensively about anyway. It's mostly just code base and what's on the uh, back end or how to make everything run and operate for right now. Honest, as an aside, everybody, I apologize if I've been uh, blabbing for a little bit too long there. I hope you all didn't mind. All in all, um, I'm doing fine. And everyone out there, I hope you all are doing okay too. Until then, uh, why don't we get, let's get started with Chasm. So let me get, I'll get it set up and we'll jump right back in. Until then, everybody out there, if winter is striking hard for you, please, please stay warm and please take care. I know that my father, my brother, and my and one of my cousins is actually pretty cold, is pretty sick right now, so I'm really hoping that you all don't get sick either. Like getting sick sucks. I know it's a kind of obvious, but real it's the kind of thing where I feel like you don't realize how bad it is until you get sick again, kind of thing. All right, I think it's a uh, yep. And here we are, everybody. We are back to chasm. So we're gonna resume the same file that I had, and it's gonna take a little bit for me to like recount my, retrace my steps, and figure out where I am. But I think we'll be fine. So apologies, everybody. We're gonna jump back a little bit. I mean, we're gonna do a bit of backtracking, and we'll figure things out. Uh, okay. So mines is where we have the uh, save point. Let's see, can we see anything in the mines? All right, there are a couple areas in the mines I think I can explore, so I might check through more of that there. That's the gateway, and I think this is the uh, quick movement area. Uh, what you call it? Fast travel? Fast travel, there we go. All right, let's see. I'm mostly just gonna look into areas where I could have gone, but I wasn't able to, so let's see. Alright, feels just about as I remember. Mm. 
Oh wait, that's too high, I think. Yeah, I might need something. I might need some A's to get up there. Okay. Uh, let's take the elevator shaft and let's go right. We might be able to explore. Okay, we can explore more here because we got the slide. All right. All right, we're good. I think I should be fine. Okay, we're fine. Oh, bugger, bastard. Oh, okay, these things hurt, all right. We're okay though. All right. So all in all, I think my overall opinion of this game is it's all right. I feel like there are, there are better Metroidvanias though. Oh goodness, these things hurt. Oh, they very, very hurt, okay. Uh, do we have anything we can eat? Strawberry pie, savory salmon, sweet. Uh, 75 HP when consumed. You know, let's eat the salmon. Okay, this isn't too bad. Hey, Makuro, good to see you. How are you? And happy late Thanksgiving to you, sir. All right, so let's see. We can go up or we can go right. We'll go up for now. How are you? Oh, nope, nope. Damn it, crap. Alright, jump here, here, there we go. Okay, we need to use this platform, alright, alright. Left or right? Go left. Oh, oh man, everything hurts. Jesus. Yeah, I think part of the problem I have with this for right now is that controls kind of stick a little bit. It's not as uh, responsive as I would like to be. Oh, it's one of the more it's one of the slightly annoying things about this game, but it's definitely got the basics down. Just needs some more refinement, in my opinion. Oh, hey, nice. A learning scroll and token. Uh, let's see, what is the learning scroll? Permanently increases a random attribute by one point. Yes, we'll just use that. I think uh, I'm just gonna consume this immediately. Uh, no problem, Makuro, all good. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving though. I'm glad to hear your, uh, I'm, I hope time with uh, family is uh, going pretty well. Recipe to create high potions, oh, that's nice. Let's see, what we got for equipment? Heart ring. A simple red ring with, oh, an increase in HP. That's not, that increase in HP isn't too bad, but I think I'm fine. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, this thing is a little bit annoying. Oh, as well as that bat. All right, uh, here we go. Nope. All right, three, four. Okay, how does the hunt 
how does this work out? That one extra stat. A bit close range, but... Oh, thank goodness. I'll take the level up. Three hits, okay. Oh. Okay, that's pretty fast. That's not too bad, though. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay. There we go. What's next? Hmm. A tool used to illuminate dark places. Sweet. Okay. Oh! I didn't see that. Oh, how did I not see that? Uh, three of these may not, maybe a little bit too. Or. Okay. You still require four hits. In that case, let me get my Falcon back. All right, well, we checked out all the upper area, so let's check out over here. Oh, really? I'll take it, sure. All right, so we explored all of this then. Can't go all the way up there. Can explore around there though, so let's go. Some of the canceling, uh, some of the uh, animation canceling is kind of uh, is not really working. So, slight annoyance there. Oh jeez. Okay. Like, I gotta be more careful around this guy. That's ultimately all it is.
Oh, damn. Oh, shoot. Was I on mute the entire time? Oh, no. I'm sorry, everybody. He... Oh, man. Was I on mute this entire time? Everybody, if I was, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize until now. I was trying to cover because, uh... I was kind of, I was trying to cover because I had to burp a little bit, but I guess that must have gotten through. I'm sorry, everybody. All right, let's see. Queen Trell, 365 to 396. So what I was saying was, I'm not quite sure how to feel about this being procedurally generated. Like, I think it's cool and everything, but I think I also prefer it if it was like custom, a little more customized. It had some more customization to it. Oh, there's not much further. Well, okay then. It's still pretty cool for uh, repeat playthroughs, to playthroughs though. Oh man, what did I? I have a feeling I got something here. I forgot what it was though. Oh man, it kind of sucks that I don't remember a lot of this. Oh well, we'll make do and we'll get we'll keep going. Okay, I see ledge, ledges we can grab. Okay, we can't climb up to up here either, so uh can't make progress here for now. Damn it, that means we gotta go back. So then we can either go to the catacombs or the garden, I think. These only cost two, which is pretty nice. So we're gonna head back. All right, so where shall we go next instead? Go to the keep or the gardens? I, th I mean, we can either go to the catacombs or the gardens, I think. Excuse me. You know what, I think we're gonna check out the catacombs. Check out the catacombs first. So we can, maybe we can climb up here? Oh no, we can't. Okay, so we can't go that way. Is there anything further? Yeah. We'll head back. Sure, we'll do this one. All right, this is where we open that door. We gotta go all the way up. Okay. Okay, so we might need it. We're gonna have to come back for something with this. Hmm. Alright, so it looks like there's nowhere else to go in the catacombs for right now. In that case, uh, let's head for the garden.
I'll take it. Ooh, brass knuckles. Probably pretty weak compared to my my current equipment though. All right, so nothing here. So I guess we'll head back to the uh, next area, which will be gardens. Yeah, there's probably a lot more we can explore here. Let's see, we got that one, which is probably the rightmost. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go for the, uh, we'll go for the rightmost one first. Actually, sorry, before that, let's save. Let's take a safety save. Let's see here. Ow. Oh. Two hits, okay. going to our left. Let's see what's at the other side. All right, the little Peter, I remember the little Peter Pan guy. Ooh. The jellies don't give me too much of a problem. However, in general, everything here hurts quite a bit. Forty-five. That's a. Uh, should be okay, I think. Salmon. Ooh. Okay, I know what to do with this one. Got it. Aha! We have ourselves a lantern now. Oh, maybe I should go save. How are we doing on healing items? Pie, salmon, and mushrooms, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, thank goodness. I'll take it. Progress. We are making progress. What is that? Oh. All right, this thing's kind of scary. Okay. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. My, I got a little bit of sniffles. Oh. Jeez Louise, you. Jesus, you. That uppercut he does. That uppercut's kind of crazy. All right, let's see what else we got. 
Oh. Ooh. Neat little trick that thing can do. The fact that I can't backdash easily is kind of annoying. Uh oh. Let's, uh, let's get another, uh, mushroom. Nope, not yet. Uh, probably not worth it. Oh, jeez. That thing looks nasty. Oh. Alright, we're okay. Oh, that thing looks even worse. That's even worse. Jesus! I think I'm gonna go save. Let me try to go save. Ah! This is super risky. Ooh, I'll take the crit. Sure. Alt. Ah, ah. Everything hurts. Okay. Just two more segments we need to go through. Okay, I think we're fine. We should be. I think we're going to be mostly okay. Oh, I thought I jumped too early there. All right, we're fine. Made it to the save point. <sighs> that was crazy. Cause you can get the jump on these guys. Jump in place and grab them. That's what it is. Okay. Four hits. Almost got a... Almost at the next level. So that's good too. Fine. Uh, I'm in a pretty bad position again. All right, we're good. We're okay. We're surviving. That's the main thing for right now. Man, 
I took so many unnecessary hits and now I'm about to die. Again. Uh, let's see. Let's take a... Take some salmon. Ankaro, entry number two. Shortly after the king changed, I found a black feather in his chambers, which radiated a strange dark energy. When we first arrived here, I felt the same darkness coming from the caves in these mountains. The deeper I explore, the stronger this dark energy becomes. We must be getting closer to the source of the evil which has possessed the king. Only the light of the watchers can keep this darkness at bay, so I've recruited some of the stone workers to aid me in constructing shrines as we explore. I hope that our efforts help in some small way to stop the dark force at work in this place. Alright, so talking about a uh, black feather, was it? Yeah, I found a black feather in his chamber, so we need to find the king, I'm assuming. Or something like that. Okay. That's for sliding. Here we are. Grab that ledge. Grab this ledge. Here we are. Good, good. Oh, what's in there? All right, hold up, hold up. Is there a way I can drop? There a way I can grab that? Yeah, that vine. Ooh, I'll take it. Oh no. Oh. Just a straight drop. That was a. Uh, Kind of scary. Okay. Yep. No! Ah. Jumping is still a little bit off. Here. Jump. And there we go. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Timing's a little bit off tonight. Yep. Okay. Yes. All right, we'll keep going this way. Huh. Oh, I can't read that. I'm assuming I need to uh, get some kind of lexicon or something to open that. All right. Oh, hey. What that do? Hmm. Okay. I think that opened the doors. I'm gonna move quickly. Oh, that didn't open the doors? Hmm. Hold on. Still the same thing as before. Okay. Uh, no difference by the look of it. Uh, excuse me, everybody. Alright. Let's see. We're gonna have to go back. Three hits to die, that's fine. Not happening. Ah. Might need to save pretty soon, actually. Uh oh. Mm. 
Oh, right, we got some extra food. Okay, okay. Let's have some of that pie. Now let's explore down what's down here. Oh! Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. I'll take it. Okay. Alright, general, general save point here in the mines. go further. A sapphire? Oh, wow, wow. Okay. Oh, that's it? Oh, bronze armor. Sure, sure, we'll take it. A heavy cure is created from a single sheet of bronze. Yeah, we'll take it. Okay, so now why don't we go higher up in this area? Where does this take us? All right. Hmm. Up here, and let's go left. Oh, hey. I don't think this was here before. Maybe open the waterways. That's kind of what I did. Okay. Either way, we're here. Keep going to our left, all right. Oi. Ah, damn it. It's all right, we're okay. Uh, what's the token? Oh, in game machines, all right. Huh, is it for that weird guy that we saw earlier? That we see, like, that weird, uh, token master guy? Alright, let's see here. More things to explore, so we'll go this way. Okay, you take six hits to die. Got it. What is that? New enemies. I'm kind of excited. All right. Hey, new guy. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the rescue. My name is Cade. I'm a hunter and trapper. I knew something foul was afoot when the wildlife started to disappear. I've been hunting in these mountains for years and I've never seen anything like this. I'm going to return to town and see what I can do to get Carthus back to normal. All right, new civilian. And salmon for my troubles. What is out? Mind 
whip hand. Six hits. All right. These enemies are kind of scary here. No joke. Left or right? What's this? You feel fortunate. Oh, ooh, money bonus. Okay, okay. Sure, I'll take that. Sure, I'll take it. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh. There we go. Uh, uh. Got it. Ooh. take one of these ring of fried dough sure take that tree crawler all right really Oh, uh, come on, game. This is kind of, this is not cool. Something good. Bronze helm. Ah, sure, I'll take it. Yeah, sure. I'll take any I'll take a defensive boost. about to run out. What the? Oh. Some weird grab shenanigans, I guess. Left or right? Left, there are enemies, and to our right, there is... This thing again. You feel open to learning. Hmm. Oh, I don't have any little learning scrolls. Okay, all right. Six. Oh. Good timing, too. I'm not quite sure what that does, but it's all right. We'll we'll go. Go up. Is that for a boss? I'm gonna assume that's for a boss. That must be for a boss. It's gotta be. All right, everybody. Let's see what's up ahead. Eh? 
I saw that. Whoa. Oh, we Toho now. Okay, okay. Ow. We kind of like Toho now. Okay, contact damage is a thing. Got it. Oh, come on. That ain't cool. Oh. Oh, this thing's gonna kill me. This thing's kind of fast, all right. Ow. Not gonna lie, this thing's actually kind of difficult. All right, yeah. Okay, all right, I got it. I got a general idea what to do. All right, Jesus, I'm out of healing items. This is the one attack I still don't really know what to do. About. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Oh. We'll try again. That was actually kind of fun. I'll admit. We're not giving up. Yeah, unfortunately, but it's a pretty fun boss. I feel like it's a fun boss. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Watch it. I have a general idea what to do now. I gotta be quick on the, uh, I gotta be quick with this guy. Over here. Okay, ah! Up here right on top of me. This isn't too bad. It's actually fairly challenging. I can appreciate that. Jesus, God, it's contact damage though. I kind of want to do this without healing items. Oh, let's see, what do we have? Yeah, okay, I don't want to do this with healing items. I want to save them. Really? Got him. We got him. Got him. Alright, 
right, what's down here? Ooh, climbing gear. Press against the wall while falling, then press jump to wall jump. Wait, what? Oh, I'll take this. Yes. Okay. I think I'm going to enjoy this game more than I thought I had. I thought I did now. Oh, that's great. I love it. Oh, we're back at the mines? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, hey. Where am I? Seems to be just another op another way through. Okay. Let's go save though. I like this. I like this mechanic. Dang! And to think that I uh, just stopped doing Chasm a while back because I was so bored of I was bored of it. Um, honestly, this new these new mechanics they increase my enjoyment of this immensely. I might need to add this into the main rotation in a little bit. Till then, let's see. Uh, all right, we need to find a war point from here. But dang, this is pretty far. I've actually got to hug the wall as I'm doing that. <laughs> yep. All right, so let's see. I think we got some uh, new avenues we can explore now. Got him. Admit, um, playing this further now, I kind of wish the uh, mobility options were available sooner. But as a whole, it's uh, they've incre this has increased my uh, enjoyment of the game immensely. Like I, I like these new mobility options they gave me, and I'm enjoying this game more than I did beforehand, which is kind of a little funny to me. Like I originally just dropped this because I thought it was kind of boring; it was a little dull. Now though, uh, I'm enjoying this more. I should give him some more faith. It's nice to see you again. Carthus is very remote, so it's my job to hunt and stock up for the long winters. Unfortunately, during the attack, a group of kobolds stole all of the venison that I was curing. Even worse, most of the animals are either hibernating or they were frightened off by the disturbances in the mines. Now the town is running dangerously low on supplies, and I'm partly to blame. I need to get the meat back from those kobolds, but I'm not a hunt. I'm a hunter, not a warrior. If you can help me recover four cuts of venison from them, I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Please let me know if you have any luck. Sure. All right, so let's see. Where shall we go exploring now? With our new options. We might actually be able to go up uh, the cat. We might be able to go further up into the catacombs, actually. Or we can check out more of the keep. I'm going to check out the catacombs real quick, and then we'll go for the keep. Hmm. 
Hmm, kinda wish I had some more tea on me. Oh well, make do. Catacombs. Let's see, uh, uppermost one, I think? Yeah, we'll try this one. Oh, we can totally do this now. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, come on! Oh, ho, ho, ho. I like these stats. I got me a pimpin' crown. A nice pimpin' ass crown. Got some pretty nice stat boosts to go along with it. Alright, so let's head on back. Uh, sorry, I'll just a moment. All right, sorry about that, everybody. Uh, I had to, it was a little warm in here, so I took off my sweater. It's still pretty cold out, but it's a little warm in my room, so I decided to uh, take that off for a bit. All right, let's see. Uh, where was I going? Oh, right, back there. Oh, I forgot I didn't explore that. Huh, oops. Sorry about that, we're going to go back. Open this. What, did that not open? Well, okay then. Or was it this? Yeah, it'll be this. Alright, we fall way down here. It's kind of an interesting jump mechanic. I it reminds me of what was done in uh, Circle of the Moon for Castlevania, Castlevania Circle of the Moon, where Nathan Graves had the uh, jump exactly like that. Uh, I'll be honest, it was kind of a neat little uh, mechanic, but it's not my favorite. Like, give me double jump, give me double jump any day, double jump and high jumps. Like they feel more in control of my, uh, of your jump bar kind of thing. All right, let's see. Might have to come back here, so... Might need to reopen this then. Actually, what did I even do? Did I just open the way through here? Well, all right. Oi! Your attacks are pathetic, w wizard. Okay, moving on. Altair! Oh. 
It's Altair. Altair and the Fallen Assassin Order. Oh, mummies. They dead though. They were fine. Five damage, all right. Okay. All right, this is the way that we didn't see before. Gotcha, Necromancer. Ah, gold ring. Sure, I'll take it. Just an extra bonus, it would seem. Alright, alright. Uh, how do we get back down to there? Looks like it'll need to be by warp for right now. Oh, come on. I'll be honest, I forgot a lot about this game, but I feel like we're doing pretty well. So, I'll admit, as I said, I know I've already said it a few times, but really, I feel like my enjoyment of this game has... I'm enjoying this game more than I uh, than I did beforehand. Like, I feel like this is a lot more fun than I remember. Alright, we'll take the warp there. Gonna head to the lower route. Yeah. Then we'll explore all the way to our right. Let's see here. Oh. Some scarier enemies, that's for sure. We're good, we're good. Flush giants. Good, we're good. Oh, come on. Traps? Okay, we can deal with traps. Oh, that was kind of weird. I feel like that wasn't supposed to happen there, but all right. Let's see, we'd have to go that way, but since we're down here, let's go save first. I think this was a boss fight. I honestly don't remember. Okay. Here we go. And up we go.
All right, we're good. We took a single hit, but we're okay. Oh, they disappear. Got it. All right, good, good. We got this here, but we don't have the other one. All right, I, nope. And this is how we get up there. And I wish I could, we could do this in real life. Just keep the momentum, just wall jump everywhere. Hey! Thanks for the help, kid. I'm Jinx, a bounty hunter. I was tracking two thieves through the Lordorian Mountains when a blizzard hit. I lost their trail in the storm and barely made it into Karthus alive. Next thing I knew, the town was being raided and I ended up down here. Hey, you seem like someone who knows how to get things done. Come see me back at the tavern and we can talk business. See you later, cowboy. Alright. Explored about all we could so far of this place. So, let's see. Why don't we take a shortcut back? Yeah. Do you have any warp scrolls? You do. Oh, these cost a lot. Okay, all right. Lesson learned. We're not going to try to get too many of these. I mostly did it out of expedience, but let's see. How's it going, kid? As I mentioned before, I'm looking for two notorious thieves Felix Farron and Drake Striker. They wanted dead or alive for numerous crimes against Gildea. I would rather capture them alive, but if they leave me no option, then so be it. I believe they must be somewhere in these parts, but if I leave town, they may come here. That's where you come in. <laughs> Perhaps in the course of your investigation, you may find some evidence of their whereabouts. If you help me locate them, I'll be sure to make it worth your while. Let me know what you find. Any luck finding Felix and Drake? Remember, I need a personal item from both of them if they've already expired. Alright. I feel like I found something about both of these guys before, though. Till then, hold on. Before we go to the mines, I know this, uh... Here we are. Still got a number of people to find. Actually, might need to update it. Karthus 100th anniversary and Felix and F Oh, that's great news. You found Ethel, did ya? She's the heart and soul of this town, you know. And she keeps us all in line. You rescued Win. That's great news. I'll bet he is already back at the tavern playing cards. Why anyone would spend all day playing games is beyond me. But to each their own. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, JQ. That ain't cool. A modern game? Um, no. If you mean like, like this, like within this year or the past few years, no. I believe this was, uh, I want to say this was maybe, um, a few years ago, actually. Actually, you know what? Let me just check. It was definitely a kick. It was a Kickstarter game. Oh damn! I was wrong. Excuse me. <laughs> Chasm was released on July thirty first, two thousand and eighteen. Damn, that was that's only a year ago. Okay, my bad. Oh, oh, my mistake. Um, no, I don't think so. This is, uh, 
I want to say maybe this is like, uh... I'm not sure. It's definitely not, uh, it's definitely like not medieval times, but they do mention like guilds and stuff. So I think it's more like a, I think it's more like a video game, like a video game kind of world where guilds, video game world with adventures and stuff. So I guess think like isekai, I guess, for lack of a better term, for lack of a better idea at the moment. Good work finding Jinx. He's a mysterious fellow, but his reputation is well known throughout the kingdom. Great work. I'm glad to have Kate back. He knows these mountains like the back of his hand. Please keep looking for the rest of the townsfolk. I wish I could be of more help, but I'm not as young as I used to be. Yeah, so the story of this was that the protagonist that we're playing as, he is a new member of like an adventurer's guild. Or something along those lines. And he came to this town of Gildea. Or is it, no, the town of Carthus. To help solve their problem with the mines. And I believe this is the kingdom of Gildea. So it's kind of like a... Your expected RPG setup. In a romanticized, semi-romanticized medieval era, I guess. If that helps at all. Like, I think that's kind of what it is. Alright, so we got... Princess, Duncan, and Grant. Those three are the only ones missing. Alright. Is there anything here? Oh, hey! There is. Establish 672. Oh. We're just going around. Okay. That's fine, too. Yeah, as an aside, I actually didn't realize this was uh, released in 2018. I did see the Kickstarter for this game, and but that was several years back. Yeah, I hear you. It definitely looks like a prospector's town. That's what it absolutely feels like. But the way that we're dressed up, the garb that we're going in, and the weapons that we have, it feels like a uh, medieval, feels like medieval style uh, aesthetic. Uh, let's check out the keep. We investigated all the catacombs, so let's check out the keep then. Also, if um, I haven't, for those who don't know, and if I haven't mentioned it before, this game is procedurally generated. So every room that we see here, they uh, they are different every uh, every game. It's kind of like what happens in Rogue Legacy. This was the main game's main draw. Like every time you replay this, the map will be different. It's an interesting idea, I'll admit, but people were criticizing it because it kind of felt like the game's lack cohesion sometimes. I mean, the room's lack cohesion. Leather belt, nice. And I'll admit, the first time I played this, for those who don't, as I've said before, I ended up dropping this the first time because it was kind of dull for me. Like it, it, it kind of, I felt like it dragged. It wasn't as fast as I'd like it to be, and I wasn't having a lot of fun with it. So that's why I ended up dropping it for a little while. That said, now to, as I play this again though, I do feel like I'm having more fun with this. And I'm willing to actually see this through to the end. Originally I dropped it because like, oh my god, this is so dull. But now it is like, no, let's keep playing this. This is fun. This is more fun than I remember. It's definitely not going to be at the highest tier I feel for Metroidvanias, but... It's definitely, uh, it's definitely worth its salt at the very least. Like, to be fair, what is that? Oh, oh, you hurt. Okay, that was actually kind of a cool enemy. I like that concept. You do not look cool, sir. So, I'm enjoying Chasm, plain and simple. Do I think it's gonna beat like my favorite Metroidvania so far, like Hollow Knight and like Hollow Knight and uh, Bloodstained Ritual the Night? No, I do not believe so. Is it fun in its own right though? And am I having a? Am I enjoying it? And do I think it's worth playing? Absolutely yes. Oh, a gelatinous cube. All right, okay. I don't know. I feel like the main thing for this one, I feel like what makes it more fun, 
So, all right, let me see if I can address this. Uh, best I can say, I feel like what's made this more fun recently is one, it could just be I'm going into this with a different mindset compared to before. It could also just be like I'm playing this game by itself without many expectations and not like either playing prior or after another game like I did in the months bef like I did in the months back. Or two, it could just be like I have a better feel for the rhythm of this game. I'll admit, the first time I played this, the biggest complaint that I had was that I felt like it was running a little too slow for me. And I felt like the character wasn't completely uh, under my control, so to speak. Like, something I noticed with him is he doesn't turn, like, he, there's a little, um, there's a little slowdown between the, when he turns, for example. He's not running too fast either, so the game speed is a little on the slower side. It's not that, uh, it's not as fast paced as, like, Bloodstained or Hollow Knights is. Like, it doesn't feel speedy. That's the, that's one of the things. However, I feel like I've gotten used to this speed now. Also, something else was it does some of the controls are not all that responsive. Like I had some problems with backdashing and after attacks. Like here, I want to backdash after this attack, but I can't. So I think that's something that uh, kind of tones it down. It's not as responsive. With that said, though, I do feel I've adapted to it, and I'm making my way around things. Plus, something that I'm enjoying is this game is actually kind of difficult. It's actually more difficult than I remember it being, and that kind of raises the stakes for me, and it makes it fun. It kind of sucks that I can't really use my backdash with this, but it's okay. We have other ways around it. It's kind of like how- oh! Also, pretty nice enemy design, honestly. I li I'm liking this. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Time Spinner's backdash and how, honestly, I didn't find much use for it. It it's kind of reminds me of this one because if I can't backdash, like cancel an attack, that is going to be a massive problem. That was creepy, but that was a pretty unique design. Oh dear god, not this thing again. This thing hurts. No joke, that is a pretty cool enemy though. And I like the enemy variety. Like, it, it's kind of expected for some of these areas, but this variety is pretty damn cool. I won't lie. But I think, although I think it also depends on the enemy, partly because it could be that this is mostly based, this is based on like a Castlevania S setting. This one's a more Castlevania S setting compared to the other side of, um, environments so far. That could be it too. Like a Silent Hill enemy? Oh yeah, I can definitely see it. I feel like that could also fit in a, as a Castlevania enemy a little. Right. Full health. It makes me think, that makes me think of a slime that consumes something. Alright, doing pretty good. go. Oh, we got demons now. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that did 20 damage. That's pretty... Ow, ow. That's bad. That's super bad. This is... Oh, this thing hurts. This thing hurts pretty bad. Oh yeah, yeah, I hear you. Castlevania, I feel like was not Castlevania definitely had a gothic horror aesthetic, but it never felt it never felt like a true horror game to me. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I think it felt like a it's like the fun type of uh, horror where you at least felt where you felt like strong and everything. Yeah, if that makes any sense. What the hell's a silver chain? Is that a weapon? Okay, I saw a silver chain. What is that? Is that a...
Give me a second. Uh, give me a second, everybody. Let me see. Molotov, uh, head, body, accessory. Let's see. Silver chain. A beautiful necklace made from links of fine silver. Okay. Increases attack, but it decreases defense. All right. Uh, we're not going to equip that for now. Yeah. And I think what it... It gives it a very, it gives you, it feels like it's more compelling to explore, whereas instead of a horror game where it's trying to like scare you with a lot of things, it gives you a very neat sense of atmosphere, which is great, but not true horror, I think, which is also just as fine. Oh, hey, what's this? You feel fortunate. Oh, how fortunate then. Let's get some more monies. What are we doing on inventory, by the way? Uh, coffee. Strong black coffee. Oh. I would love some coffee, but it's late. Ooh, thank God. That... Oh, I disagree with that. Oh. Oh, that didn't hurt me. Okay, that's good. Cut its strings. We cut the marionette strings. All right, four hits. Four hits to kill the gelatinous cube. Three hits to kill the spiders. Oh yeah, definitely. I feel like in general, it didn't think too much about like trying to make the uh, I feel like this game in general didn't try to make the world space um, too immersive. It was just like, okay, we have a basic uh, story, a basic world, let's have fun. That's a that's about it. And you know what? That's completely okay. Like the story and everything treats it like that. The story and everything complements it, so that's completely fine. It's still a pretty fun Metroidvania to me. Like these, uh, all these different areas, they don't feel like they have a lot of cohesion together. Like we have mines, then we have the catacombs, and then we have some underground jungle. And now we have a castle keep, all of this underground. Oh yeah, no worries, I'm good. We'll be careful. I swear, if something comes in here and like kills me, I'm gonna be so, so upset. All right, I saw something up there. Ah, watcher protect me. That's what I needed. So I feel like in general what it is, like they went for a very basic story that we would expect for a Metroidvania, which is, hey, we need to go explore this place. Can you go there and like find stuff to take care of? It's like, yeah, sure, I'll go. And that's uh, like, okay, we have your basic set of villagers who will offer you basic services. We did enough to characterize what their occupation is and what you'll need. And then from there, it's just like, hey, player, go and have fun. There's not the heavy, there's not too much of a story, heavy story. It's just go and have fun. And you know what? That is completely fine by me. Ow. Oh, that hurt. That's 24 damage. Oh, you can aim downward. Okay. You can aim a little bit like that. That's good to know. No, no, no. Oh. The jumping is a little bit off too sometimes. All right, 20s for contact damage. That's that's unfortunate, but we'll make do. All right, what's over here? Sweet. Night sword. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, hell yes. A long sword carried by the Knights of Ancient Linhine. 
I'll take it. For the knighthood. Hmm. I don't think I can reach that. Not in my current state, anyway. Oh. Alright, shortcut. And save point. Alright, let's see. I gotta admit, it's pretty cool to see demons in this, too. And, like, actually scary demons. Oh, what is this? Ah. Got him. Shrine. Flower bag. You feel open to learning. Uh, we don't have any learning scrolls, though, so... Uh, kind of out of luck there. Left or right? Oh! Ho, ho. Ah, come on. That's not cool. Emerald and token. Oh, fair point. It might be a gargoyle, actually, yeah. I, I just kind of went default demon. Oh. Oh, that's your game, isn't it, little spider? It might be a gargoyle, I think you're right. It makes sense, considering that it turns into stone and all, you're right. Yeah, I could definitely buy it. If it's a gargoyle, I can definitely buy that. Oh. All right. Okay, fast travel point. Going higher. I'm a little wary of this. Oh, oh, come on. Jeez, that's an executioner's action right there. That was an executioner swing right there. Got him. It doesn't cap. It doesn't have the full Egabania feel in terms of the uh, in terms of the character, but for what it needs to do, it's doing it pretty well. Like at least the game de level design and game design complements the character design. That's a Lex. All right, decreases it decreases defense by one, but look at that. Hmm. We'll try it. That is an obscene level of damage. Also, I got the overhead swing, which I like. Uh, I think I like the Knight Sword more, though. I like it. I like that it's fa faster. 
a new challenger approaches. Perhaps you believe yourself to be a fearless warrior? There is no better place to test your mettle than the arena. There are three matches that await you before you have earned the right to be called a warrior. Then, if you dare, you may challenge a grand champion for the title. The arena is deadly, so be sure you are prepared before entering. Will you begin your first preliminary match? Let's do it. Splendid! Step into the arena when you're ready. Alright, let's have some fun. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Ah, this lack of... Oh, come on! Man, this is embarrassing. Oh jeez, what is that? Okay, we were just talking like something out of Silent Hill, right? That is something out of Silent Hill. I like, I like this. I like that enemy. Oh jeez. Oh, thank god. Gladiator Helm. So oh, you do have some skill as a fighter, but do you have the endurance that is needed to be a champion? You have two more preliminary matches before you can take on the grand champion. Oh, I wasted the health bars, okay. How far are we? oh okay, okay. We I think we can do this. Just gotta be super careful about what we're doing. I gotta admit, that's pretty good. That's some pretty good enemy design right there. Of course, it could also just be my predisposition toward uh, Castlevania style stuff. So bring on that gothic horror thing. <gasps> oh, that hurts. That hurt pretty bad. I know, I'm minding my health. I'll be careful. Actually, you know what? Let's not be, let's not risk it. Let's play it safe. And actually, let's keep going. Okay. No, 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 oh. Okay, I need some kind of speed boost for this. There's no backdash canceling. Oh well. Got him. Got him, okay. Another token. Oh, what's this? Black f I know exactly where that goes. We need to go back to the catacombs for this. I know where this goes. Alright, we almost got enough XP for level up, so that's good. Oh. Oh, come on, this now? All right. All right, we should be okay. All right, we're good, we're doing good. Yes. Soldier's armlet. 
while we're here, let's change up some things. Gladiator Helm increases HP, significantly increases defense, and increases luck. Oh, that's pretty good. A bronze helm often worn by arena combatants. That decrease in attack is kind of unfortunate, but I feel like the increase in HP, defense, and luck might be worth it. All right, the other thing was soldier's armlet, I think. A standard armlet worn by soldiers in the Gildian army. Not bad, not bad. Sure, we'll take it. Oh, yeah. Whew. Pretty risky, but we made it. Oh god. Oh dear god, this ain't good. Okay, that was okay. I thought I'd be stuck between them. We're going to save first before we progress. So the best way to save, I feel, is we do this. We're going to go to the mines and save here. Was it this one? Yes, it was this one. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Just the keep. High tonic recipe. Alright, that'll be helpful. Sure. disagree with that, but fine. Oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna go this way. this time. Got it. I gotta admit, the music is nothing to write home about, but I do like how it's kind of um, soft and like... It's kind of soft. It's not very... It uh, doesn't have a theme or anything. It's, it's just kind of in the background. Let me put it that way. It's kind of a nice change of pace, which I actually do not mind. It's definitely no Michiru Yamane, it's not Jeff Ball, but for what it is, it works. I like it. Hmm. Well, that's not a good sign. I understand.
Okay, do we have anything that could uh, hint at that? Or maybe I need to come back to this when I take care of the feather thing. For right now, I think I'm gonna come back here later. Since we have it, we will... Let's see what to do with that uh, black feather we got. I know where I need to go with that, so hold up. Ah. Whoa. We're good. Across this area, and then we go to the warp. Ah, <sighs> stupid spider. We should be good. I think I should be okay. here. Catacombs. Alright, and it was way up there. So, this one? Uh, too far. This one. Perfect. believe it's up here or am I thinking the wrong one oh no I'm thinking the right place we're going this way all right black feathers here got our lantern and oh what is well, okay then. Um, okay. Am I gonna just have to endure that or? <sighs> I guess so. Like, I gotta, I gotta wall jump from here to there, that's the thing. Maybe what I can do is, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's all dark? All right, all right. We can deal with this. What is adventure without a little danger? What is that? Oh, oh, okay, okay, what is that? Well, we went into creepy territory, what is that? That is fast. Some creepy enemies here. Oh, 
Okay. Nothing up here, it seems. It says that there's a way to the right here, so... Oh, god damn it! I don't know how to respond to those uh, hands from the ground, honestly. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Still no source of light. <gasps> oh! Okay, okay. That's how we're doing this? Alright. How are we doing on food stuff? We got coffee, but we got coffee and a potion. There's something way up there. Can't reach the other side, though. Wait, what is that? Press and hold backdash while falling to glide. Sweet. I'll take it. Oh. No, it's just a mummy. Okay. Okay. Where are we? We're in the catacombs. I mean the uh, castle keep. Alright. Okay. Okay, that's fine. There's a safe spot nearby. So, there was nothing about those bells yet. I might need to figure that out a little bit later. So... Everybody, I know it's kind of a short stream, but I think I'm gonna stop here for tonight. So, uh, once again, I am, I've am i been having a lot more fun with this than I did the first time I played this. And honestly, I'm more than willing to... Um, I think I'll either put this back into the main rotation with a hat in time, unless a hat in time just monopolizes all the time there, no pun intended. Or I'll make this as... Uh, I'll put this in the bonus stream for a bit. Or on my Saturday streams. I guess it's not really bonus streams for right now. Either way, I do want to play more of this. So I might either split it between a hat and time, or I'll try to like dedicate its own day or something. I'll see how it goes with Chasm. Either way, so as I said, I do feel this game is a little slower than the Metrovanias I'm used to, and that was my big complaint. Controls don't feel as responsive at times because like you could cancel you could cancel your attacks back into backdash, for example. That's never been a problem, but this one for this one it is. With that said, though, I feel like once I've adapted to its slower pace, the game kind of falls into place for me, and it's actually kind of fun. I do like the options they give me, and I like some of the mobility options that are there. Overall, I'm enjoying this. I could see myself coming back to this again someday. I think the procedural generation, I like the concept of it. I don't know how I feel about it, but where it is at the core... I do think it kind of works. I do think it works. I do think they had something. It could use some more refinement. I do feel like the game could have been sped up a little bit. But for what it was and what it's doing, I like it. And since we're on the topic, actually, real quick, let me see. Oh. Okay, so if we want to see some of the bestiary, bestiary entries, we need to actually kill the number of enemies. That's... Interesting. All right, then. Until then, everybody, as I said, I think this will be a short stream for tonight. 
And once again, as always, everybody, thank you all for stopping by. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all had fun. Until then, everyone, I hope everyone has a good weekend. If it's cold wherever you are, please stay warm. And if it's a little hot where you are, please stay cool. Until then, everybody, this is Roleplay saying have a good night, have a good weekend, and I hope you and I hope everyone takes care. Wow, excuse me, well, that sounds weird. <clears throat> Everyone, take care. Have a good night, have a good weekend, and I hope to see you all on Monday. On Monday, I do intend to continue with the hat in time. Until then, everybody, this is Roleplay, signing out. See you all later.